Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric. And if you've got a home grain mill, whether you build it yourself or it's one that you purchased, you're going to be going through a lot of grain if you're incorporating that into your baking. So what are some of the ways that I store the grain that I purchase, either from farmers or from feed mills or from uh, seed suppliers? Well, there's a couple ways, and I'll divide those into two videos, one short-term, one long-term. For the short-term storage, you know, quite often I'll leave it right in the bag, and this is a bag of naked uh, barley, Maguire, and this is purchased as seed stock, untreated seed, a great way to go, relatively cheap. This runs about 17 to 20 bucks, uh, depending on your grain variety. You get not only exactly what you want, you can get some of the odd stuff that might not be produced in your area um, or by a farmer that you know. And you get it at a reasonable price and you get it in these bags, it's already dry. Um, so it's fairly stable if you have it in these bags. Now this is one example, it's a polypropylene, I guess, bag. It's a little bit lighter weight. Here's another example of a different firm, again, seed. And this is uh, triticale, which I really love instead of using uh, a rye wheat mix, uh, flour mix for making my rye breads. You can use triticale, and that's already been bred naturally to be a uh, hybrid, uh, hybridized wheat rye cross. So this is a little bit tougher material, again in that uh, 25 kilos, 55 pound range of bags. But if you want something that's a little bit more you know, robust, you can always go with uh, the five gallon pails. You know, and here, this one contains red fife wheat, which is a heritage wheat that basically opened up the West to Canadian grain farming. Uh, makes a really nice loaf. Um, and it's just stored in the, the bucket, already dried. Um, and you can choose, if it's short term, I generally don't fumigate it. Um, and I just fumigate using CO2. These, you can get gamma lids for them. The snap-on lids, a little bit tough. If you want something that's really convenient, then I think the olive barrel wins out. Um, these have this oh, screw open top good nice top you put a scoop in there and you know you're not getting five gallons worth of grain but you're getting about probably two three fill this up from your longer term storage or if this is what's going under your counter as in, in my kitchen this is what sits under the counter with a variety of grains in each in each of these I can go and fill them up from the big bags uh, buckets or my longer term storage which is all done in 45 gallon drums which I'll show you later and go through the process of doing that. So for more on grain storage, cooking with whole grains, as well as how to build things like this uh, home built grain mill, you can go to the link in the show notes below and the website EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.